Hello and welcome. In today's video we'll be taking a look at some interesting monsters that didn't make it into the final game of Silent Hill 1. Some of the monsters that I'll be showing in this video don't have proper in-game names. However, I will be displaying their file names as well as what they're named on the Silent Hill wiki. To start the video off, we have this tall, stumpy-armed, featherless chicken. The monster hangs its head low to its visibly bony chest with its incredibly long, bony neck, which adds an even more uneasy tone for this monster. Its chubby stomach, however, does amuse me slightly, in contrast with how creepy it looks. Here is its wireframe and tricam. Here is its texture. This monster here is very strange. It has long, skinny legs with an enormous body that looks to resemble that of an ostrich's body, just without the head. The back of the monster, where the tail feathers would be, is just some sort of large, gross-looking appendage. The front of the ostrich, where the head would be, has been replaced by some sort of blooded stinger, like a mosquito would have. All in all, this monster is very strange looking, even more so that its body resembles that of an ostrich. Here is its wireframe and tricam. Here is its texture. Here we have another monster that resembles an animal, one of the amphibian kind. We can see here its skin is very scaly looking, with a pair of frog legs. The upper half of its body where perhaps the stomach of the frog would be is split in two, that as you can see can use to move itself, like another set of legs. There is no head to this monster too like the last one. Here is its wireframe and tricam. Here is its texture. Here we have an oversized butterfly, which reminds me of the float stinger that I showed in my last video, just a smaller version. There isn't much to say here about the butterfly other than that its wings pattern look like eyes, which on actual butterflies is used in order to ward off predators. But here in Silent Hill, we are the one who's getting attacked. Here is its wireframe and tricam. Here is its texture. This monster here closely resembles that of a manta ray, with its wide fins and long tail. However, the face of the manta ray is quite different from what it looks like in real life. Their mouths are quite flat, the mouth of this one we see here sticks out and also has teeth. There are no eyes either on the face of the manta ray. Here is its wireframe and tricam. Here is its texture. This monster here freaks me out a little. The whole design uneases me. The front legs of this monster are changed into sharp bone, similar to how the mumbler's fingers looked in my last video. Its hind legs remain the same as a normal dog's however. The face of this monster is what uneases me the most, and this is due to the fact that it has bloodied holes on the front of its face, where its eyes would be. The mouth too is drenched in blood. On further research, the file name for this monster, MKY, could stand for monkey. However, this monster doesn't have any resemblance to that of a monkey, so I am not sure as to what else MKY could stand for. As a whole, this monster freaks me out. All of the monsters that I've showed previous in this video and the last have been creepy, but this one unnerves me a lot. I'm genuinely unsettled by this creature. Here is its wireframe and tricam. Here is its texture. This monster here to me resembles that of two things, a snake and a slug. The head of the monster is the shape of a snake's with how wide it is. It even dips in slightly in the center. The tongue is different however, as it is nowhere near to what a snake tongue looks like. The bloody tongue looks like the stinger that the ostrich has. The body too, as I mentioned, reminds me of a slug instead of a snake, with how thick and round it looks. I can imagine that this monster would have been hard to see, for me at least, with how small it is. I had a hard time seeing the creepers when I first played Silent Hill, so I definitely struggle with these. Here is its wireframe and tricam. Here is its texture. Here we have the Grey Child. This monster is in the final game of Silent Hill 1, however this texture is not. The texture is completely different in the final game. The texture here is more of a fleshy colour, like the chickens. In the final game it's more of a black and grey. For the head, the eyes and mouth are mostly the same, except there is no blood coming out of them. The grey child in the final game has some sort of strap that connects from its neck as well as along its chest and back. I wonder why they decided to add that strange detail to the final texture. Here is its wireframe and tricam. Here is its texture. Here we have our final monster of the video, the Larval Stalker. This monster too is actually in the game. They show up around Midwich Elementary as these shadowy ghost children in the final game. Again, like the chicken, this one is fleshy. The face looks distorted, similar to the grey child. The larval stalker just has holes where the mouth and eyes would be. The same can be seen on the side of the head. There are holes here too, where the ears would be. The larval stalker also has a tail, 
Just like the Mumbler and Grey Child, all of the monsters that resemble that of a child all seem to have tails, and I'm very unsure as to why that is. Here is its wireframe and tri -count. Here is its texture. Well I hope you all enjoyed seeing these beta monsters that unfortunately didn't make it into the final version. All of them would have been great to see in game, especially the chicken and ostrich, as those two are incredibly strange and unique. Anyways, that's all from me and I hope to see you all in the next one.